Hello everyone and welcome back to Nufini's YouTube channel. Today we're testing out an integral feature of the Nufini desktop application called Custom Biomarkers. But before we get into that, you will have to create an experiment first. For the purpose of this video, let's delve into the Visual PE 300 experiment. And for the purpose of the experiment, I'll let Nitish, the product manager and the creator of the desktop application take over. These are a list of experiments that I have tried to create which are either published or drafted. I'll create one right now here for you, which will show you how to build one and things are involved. So I'll create an experiment. Here you can keep the experiment name. For now, I will make it as Visual P300. That's what we'll be. The duration of the calculation and the baseline description. First thing that happens in an experiment is the baseline. That's what we measure and based on that baseline, we are able to measure the focus and relaxation while you're performing different tasks. So for the baseline description, let's say I will add some text that I want the user to see while he is performing an experiment. Let's say relax and avoid movement, right? I want the user to see, so I'll take, uh, take this checkbox that says show description as an instruction before the task begins. The minimum duration of baseline is one minute, right? So that's what we'll do. This is an introduction page of the baseline task. And here you can add a stimulus. It could be either an audio file or an image file or a video file. For now, I will add an image file which talks about being relaxed. And this is the image I have uploaded that says sit back and sit back and relax. I do not want any instruction right before the image. So I will skip that and I will set the duration for one minute because that is essential. I click add save. Now after one minute you can see the baseline is ready here so the task will be can start now and you can introduce just tasks first thing is for visual p300 i'll introduce what it is so i can either create a new activity or take a break i'll just create a new activity i'll write instructions for the following experiment Right. I want this as the description before this and I'll click next and now I can introduce what the photos are and what these mean. So every photo I upload, I have an option of uploading a lot of photos. Every photo I upload, I will introduce it. So for example, image, I use the big ball. I open the file. I want the image to be there for let's say four seconds and I want before the image uh, an instruction to come so i'll check box uh, tick this checkbox and i will say press space key when you see the big ball right so you can see the four image four minute is set here four second i'll upload more images this time a small ball duration four So this as an instruction and the schedule do not do anything while you see the small ball. This text will obviously be shown before the image. So either I can I have an option of writing here and here that you will see the image right after this instruction. But for now I'll let it be. And I'll upload another chessboard image just to uh, make it a little more complicated for the person or the subject. Do not do anything when you see chess. Right? And show is as a, in an instruction. So I will save this task. Now you can see the activity of 12 seconds in total. That is four images has been saved here and three images right 
so the baseline needs to be minimum one minute it can be from one minute to ten minutes and the rest of the activities in total should be at least one minute so i have done 12 seconds of introduction introduction minimum 48 seconds of the activity i need to do so now i'll create the main experiment i'll here add add the task description task starts now please press space key when you see the big ball i want to show it as a description before here you can deselect this and it will not show before the image now i will upload all my images here the big ball the small ball and the chess board now i will avoid any description because i want the user to just see right i can see big ball small ball and chess board images i will repeat the big ball image for eight times i will put the small ball for 20 times so that the big ball is less times and chess board i will put for 10 times and i will shuffle this so when you click shuffle all the images will randomly come not in order now i will add the marker and the marker for the whole experiment is space bar key which we have put and i will label it label would be big ball identified so i will save now you can see the whole experiment is 38 seconds it is not 48 seconds so i cannot go ahead and save this this experiment so i'll again go to the ex activity i will check next i want to make you can see images selected because that's what i uploaded i will again select image and i will repeat the number of times or maybe the duration let's say duration instead of one second i want the small ball to be shown for two seconds big ball and the small ball also should be shown for two seconds and the chess board also to be shown for two seconds so now you can see the activity is now one minute and 16 seconds i will save this activity so here the whole durations are visible and now i can either add breaks or new activity the break also happens the same way right you can add description let's say i write something here and go next and you can add a stimuli so for now i'll just let it be i can either publish this or save it as a draft when i hit publish then it will be saved and i cannot make any edits later on if i save as draft i can save it and make changes later creating an experiment was pretty easy but you must be wondering how does the back end of it all look like right hey nitish can you help with the same here i show you how to add markers in your experiment so when you go and create an experiment in this case i'm creating a p300 I have an option to add response markers here. This can be done in any stage or in any image. Here I can choose the letter on my keyboards and then I can put in a label which I will be able to see in a CSV file later on. So for example if I put yes and I can label it as yes and I do n label it as no. When the CSV comes uh, after the session, I can see the timestamps of yes and no onto the file. In this case, I will just use spacebar key and provide as sound detected or high frequency sound detected. I can click done and it is now added. After, the completing, after completing the session, I can see my data here, 
where I have done an audio P300. I can go to actions and export marker CSV. I will save it onto the desktop. So now you can find the CSV file with all the timestamps here. The timestamps are here for uh, all the events that have taken place during the experiment. So for example, when the experiment started, when the baseline calculation started, low frequency sound info, DA sound info, and whenever I have detected a thousand hertz uh, sound. So that's how you can see uh, export markers in a session. Did you know you can also stream your data onto other applications using LSL and SDK through the Nifini desktop application? Check out the link in the description for those videos and don't forget to subscribe to Nifini's YouTube channel.